And joining me now is Aditya Mohite of Rice University. And this is a very interesting topic. A lot of people are talking about this now. Perovskites. Yes. And your talk on Wednesday is titled The Rise of 2D Halide Perovskites. It's a hot topic for a number of years now. But, you know, what is the interest really in this two-dimensional plastic material? Yeah, so the two-dimensional halide perovskites or hybrid perovskites uh, is actually a subclass of a bulk perovskite, which is the three-dimensional one. And uh, this has also been around since quite some time. And there was a lot of work done actually by Japanese researchers in 1980s. And, and then uh, David Midsey and Sherry Kagan, uh, they did work on this in the 90s. Uh, and so, uh, and then it was all, uh, you know, not much was going on till they actually started working on the halide perovskites. And so, what this material is, is that it's a, it's, it's a halide perovskite, but instead of being a three-dimensional structure, it's a two-dimensional structure. And that comes about because when you are synthesizing this material, in addition to all the things you would put to make a three-dimensional system, you put a long organic molecule, which doesn't quite fit in terms of the size or the charge, and so it terms, tends to form a layered structure. And so that's where the two-dimensional form comes about. And so because of this two-dimensional form, this, uh, you have a case where, uh, you know, you have a two -dimension, perfectly two-dimensional lattice, but it gives a lot of advantages uh, in terms of uh, the properties and also in terms of durability, which is one of the biggest challenges that the 3D halide perovskites are facing today. And I know one of the big applications uh, in this area would have been solar. Yeah. And I guess how, how far along do you think the, the, challenge, like the challenges are to overcoming and getting it more common? Right. So as I said, that one of the biggest issues is durability for the three-dimensional perovskites. And so in 2016, we had a really nice paper which showed that the two-dimensional perovskites are much more superior in terms of durability. Although the efficiency of these systems was lower, but you can make a solar cell that can that is much more durable and can last for much longer. And so that's kind of triggered a, a renaissance of these 2D materials. And so now the state of the art solar cells that are used for halide perovskites, which have this 25, 26%, they have some amount of two dimensional perovskites which are incorporated in different ways. And so our efforts in our lab have always been to try to understand more about the structure and the property of these two dimensional perovskites. How do you really make them pure? How do you get good properties so that their efficiency can be as much as the 3D while retaining the durability that they have and things like this. Yeah. So if you were to predict yeah. how far along are we in terms of trying to see these in devices that we use, yeah. how far along are we? So I think that, uh, you know, we have a, and I'm going to talk about this, we have a recent result where we've now shown that we can make these perovskites in films with high purity, which means that if I'm trying to make a certain, uh, uh, y you know, certain thickness of these layers that I have in the perovskites, and if I make a film, I put them in solutions and I make a film of this, uh, do you get the same or do you have to, you know, are, the, are there heterogeneities in there? And so we've shown that we can do that. And what we've also shown is we can take the two-dimensional perovskites like this, combine it with the 3D perovskites to make heterostructures with desired compositions and energy levels and we can get stabilities now uh, of more than 2000 hours under harsh conditions that are required uh, and and these have efficiencies of almost 25 percent so i feel that we are, we have a big breakthrough in 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 that sense and that's going to be a very interesting result which is still which is in review right now so okay well hopefully a few just yeah. a few more years I, I hope so. I mean, I think there's lots of companies and there's lots of commercial interest. So I, I imagine that uh, another five years and we should see some, some products coming out. Okay, wonderful. Exciting time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.